everybody, how's it going? I hope you guys are having a great day, awesome week, awesome Wednesday. Uh, if you guys haven't heard already, obviously, the king of YouTube, uh, PewDiePie, who has 57 million subscribers on YouTube, he, uh, he's been, he landed in basically hot water again for an insensitive remark, racial remark, uh, my ad. So if you guys don't know much about it or the details or the importance of that word or in general of this whole situation, this video is basically going to highlight what's going on, the controversy, his re uh, remark and the logical standpoint behind it and the emotional um, view towards all this. Alright guys, so stay tuned, that's what this video is about. <laughs> Hey guys, okay, so a lot of you guys don't may or may not have heard exactly. I don't know if you guys, for a lot of you guys who obviously rotate or know a lot or happen to revolve around the YouTube community or are in the YouTube community, um, you would have already heard exactly what's been going on in terms of the recent incident regarding um, PewDiePie. PewDiePie is one of the biggest YouTubers, if not, I say, the king of YouTube with 57, 57 million subscribers. That's fucking insane, you know? I consider him like the king of YouTube, you know? He started out when YouTube started out, basically, and he grew into this. He basically created his own brand, his own empire. People tend to follow PewDiePie, etc. So for a lot of the fans and uh, YouTubers and gamers, they know uh, of what kind of a person he is. But recently, he was live streaming and he went about saying a word that is technically, I don't know if saying taboo might be the right phrase, statement, comments, etc. It's something that you hear a lot nowadays, but it's something you should not be saying or hearing. You know, that that's where this line comes into play. So you guys be the judge and watch this for yourself. And tell insane. I was holding it so fucking straight. What a fucking nigger. Jeez, oh my god. What the fuck? Sorry, but what the fuck? Having watched that already, uh, that video itself can be taken many ways. And a person who knows PewDiePie in terms of what he puts out there may or may not see it exactly for what it is. But the problem over here is this. He's landed in hot water before and comes to making an insensitive remark. And he's done it again. Now... Everyone is basically out to crucify him. When I say everyone, I mean the media. I mean some big shot YouTubers who've done it in the past. They're coming about and saying things like, oh yeah, he's a racist. Oh yeah, let me just, you know, um, this, this, this proves that he's a fucking racist or he shouldn't be doing, you know, let, let me tell you guys something. Before I jump to his apology, I want to state this very, very clearly. I think you guys should approach this with an open mindset, with an understanding as to if you're a gamer, just, just for a lot of you gamers out there, okay, when you're in the heat of the moment, things do come out of your mouth. Now, I'm not saying it's right what he said, and I'm, and I'm definitely not, you know, saying that, yeah, I'm definitely not saying that he, you should be saying those kind of things, which is not right, but you guys got to think about it. When you guys play with 10-year-olds online, when you play with 9-year-olds, 8-year-olds, 6-year-olds, 5-year-olds, uh, and you'll be surprised. I've heard little kids say to me online on, when I'm playing Black Ops 3, you know, your mama's a fucking cunt, you know, your mama's this, you know, fuck your mama. I've heard all these kind of things, or I'm, or I'm gonna fuck your mama, all kinds of different, different things from little fucking kids. And I've heard adults also saying, Yo, yo, your mama's a bitch, I fuck your shit. Like, I've heard all kinds of things, and you guys will not believe it. And I'm sure a lot of you gamers out there know what I'm talking about. So I'm not giving him a pass, but all I am saying is approach his apology that he gives out with an open mind. And then we'll discuss further into this. Hello, I uh, wanted to make a statement on what I said in my previous live stream. You probably won't believe me when I say this, but whenever I go online and I hear other players use the same kind of language that I did, I always find it extremely immature and stupid. And I hate how I now personally fed into that part of gaming as well. It was something that I said in the heat of the moment. 
I said the worst word I could possibly think of and it just sort of slipped out and I'm not gonna make any excuses to why it did because there are no excuses for it I'm disappointed in myself because it seems like I've learned nothing from all these past controversies and it's not that I think I can say or do whatever I want and get away with it that's not it at all I'm just an idiot, but that doesn't make what I said or how I said it okay. It was not okay. Having already seen that, you guys, I know a lot of people out there are gonna be like, "Well, it, he's sorry because he got caught," or "He's sorry because now it's gonna put a dent." First of all, it's not gonna put a dent. Let's just talk. Let's just say that. Uh, or the fact that he's done it again. He's gonna lose stuff. He's gonna lose fans and. No, you gotta understand this. If you guys are quick, now this is something people need to uh, get inside their heads. If you guys are quick to label him as a racist and think his, uh, him saying it is him uh, being asshole or judgmental towards a certain community, and just and that's what you're assuming based off his reaction to whatever was going on in the game, and he's saying it, then you guys also have to keep an open mind to his apology. That yes, people do genuinely feel bad when they do say certain things, and they know themselves they're out of line, and they shouldn't have said it because there are younger fans out there that might get motivated and think it's okay to say certain things. So that could also be in his head you and I don't know so that's why I'm not saying I'm vouching but I'm also not saying that we should crucify him like a lot of media is doing right now you know that is something that you uh, a lot of people don't seem to understand like if you guys are saying his intention is to do this be uh, meaning he's a racist his intention was to offend people and he's a racist based on what he said so then what about the fact that maybe he's apologetic or he's understanding or he's very truly sorry based on what he said you know you guys cannot at all you guys should not be allowed to crucify him like that's not fair to him or anybody else out there who says things in the heat of the moment now now that word alone now get this straight that word has a it's a it's it's to say negative connotation negative it's negative label is 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 what it is you know the term that word alone you know is, is horrendous. We all know what came with it, the history behind it, slavery, lynching, KKK, the history goes on. But one thing you guys need to fucking get in your minds is your favorite fucking rapper is using those words. You know, if it's Kendrick Lamar, if it's, you know, Kid Cudi, if it's Two Chines, if it's Lil Wayne, God knows, these people use these words like it's no tomorrow. They, they use this like it's candy. You guys do get that, right? Like, you guys are listening to this, and, and now we need to figure out as a society what is okay and what is not okay. Where is the line between right and wrong and not being a hypocrite? You know, like you hear all these rappers saying, you know, um, and, I, and I'll be real with you, he'll be saying, nigga, 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 nigga. You know, I'm guilty of using that word, but not in the context how he said it, but but just how your favorite rappers say it. You know, I, I grew up in a society where I've heard it, and that was, it's like me saying, yo, you're my dog, you're my bro, you're my dude, so nigga, you know, like, but. Is, this, is it acceptable? No. Should you be saying it? No. No one should be using that word, but it's used. Okay, that is the term. But you know what? Let's, let's get something clear. If we're gonna say that is the bad word and we shouldn't be calling them, why do we say you're an ass to each other? Or, you know, the fact that people say to each other gay, or they use the words, you know, fuck, and this is and that. They use these words to describe situations that's going on, or in actions of doing certain things or about certain people you know the b word for women which is highly degrading but people still use it some women call themselves bish yas bish you know people say certain things like that and and where is the line we need to have a line that really uh that 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 indicates exactly what is right and wrong for not only for ourselves but the younger generation because now the younger generation thinks it's okay and i'll be right i'll be honest with you guys Younger generation may be a lot worse than our generation and the previous generation because they're already seeing it on social media. They're seeing everything. They're seeing this as is. They're seeing that you know their favorite YouTuber can say this, this, this so that they're gonna adapt. But the thing is, they're already exposed to this, so they're gonna take everything they're saying and just whoa, you know, it's just gonna come right out. So it is just a matter of being educated and understanding and really comprehending what's going on, and then. 
eventually we come to our own uh, conclusion whether or not something could be justified. In the sense, we're not using that word. And in, in, in general, actually, I, I shouldn't say justified. You know, I, I think that that word alone should have been done away with. But if a person uses it, we should not be criticizing them or crucifying them, to be exact, because that is very unfair. I, th I think that is highly unfair to uh, to a lot of people because your friend can say nigga, and then the other one says with the er at the end. Is that is it, what, what what's how is that fair and not fair? You know, you can't if. Fine, if you know what, if for example, let's just say the black community, black Twitter, whoever, you guys want to take that word and make it your own, then sure, trademark it, copyright it, and make it your own. But does that mean no one else can say it? Fine, sure, make it that way. Do something that no one can say it, but don't say it yourself and then get off. I mean, I don't want to say don't get offended, but you know, that's what, just the way it is. I, I, I don't like the fact that he said it. I, I just let like it with a passion, especially with the ER. I get it, you know, when you're gaming, you know, I've said, you know, shit, fuck, cotton candy, motherfucker, cotton. You know, I've said a lot of things. I'm like, fuck, you know, I feel like throwing the controllers. Things happen at a reaction, whether it's an embedded uh, vocabulary into our system, whether we've been programmed based on what we've seen, whether what we have uh, are around, whether what we're um, exposed to. I don't know what it could be, but you know what? It could be all of the above, and that is a fact. You know, I just... I don't know exactly where it is, it, the line is okay and not okay. But I do feel, like I said, do not crucify him and do not get at him. Because a lot of YouTubers in the past, whether it's because they're jealous, whether it's because they're trying to reach that same level of success, whether the media dislike him because you know what, he's reached that fame, he reached that peak where it's like, wow, you know, like a lot of people are trying to get to but they don't get to you know jealousy envious greed i don't know what it is but you know what if you're a youtuber and then you get on him now this is what I, this is what really makes me mad if you're a youtuber and you get on him for saying a certain word okay fine but then don't go around and and, and call women bish or you know call a whore or say the word or throw the word gay around like that you know to label something ain't right you know versus what it actually means and this is and that don't don't be a hypocrite do not be a hypocrite here. When you game and you play and you're in the moment and you're raging and you're fucking going crazy, don't say certain things that are very offensive to people around you or hearing or the younger generation that might get influenced by it, okay? Because if you, like I said, if you're attacking him and attack yourself and attack people around you that tend to use those words, okay? Because like I said, we cannot be crucifying him and it's, not, it's, it's very unfair. So like I said, I think, I personally think his apology should be accepted and I'm sure experience for him and the people that are watching and the people that, uh, um, that enjoy his content, whatever. But you know what? We don't beat down people and that should never be the case. We shouldn't be doing uh, shit like that. It's not right. The internet has trolls. You, you're gonna see people, you know, saying, you know, the N word like it's no tomorrow. And, and just, it's, the internet is what it is, you know, both good and bad. So it's just a matter of how, how you go about portraying yourself and just worry about yourself, guys. But I, I, I truly think he should, and I'm not saying he should be given a pass, but I should also feel that it, it's more like, you practice what you preach kind of thing, right? So if you're against it, make sure for the rest of your life you are against it and you don't use those words. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, that's just the way it should be. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to give this video a big-ass fucking thumbs up. Remember to subscribe as well. And also leave a comment below. Let me know in terms of what do you guys feel about this subject or this matter in itself. And whether or not you guys feel that PewDiePie should be forgiven or at least a chance to redeem himself or something in terms of what he did. All right, guys, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Just today, just today, just today, just today.